All right, if we look at question number 11, it wants to figure out how many ways we can put six different video games on a shelf. And I'm not gonna do full all six right now, I'm just gonna think of we'll have video game A, B, C. Well, that's one possibility. And we have A, C, B, that's the second possibility. Then we have B, A, C, and B, C, A, and C, A, B, and BAC. Now this would be what would happen if we had three things. And if we remember, three things in any possible order was three factorial, which was six combinations. So to find the six video games on the shelf, we'd need six factorial. And my calculator is going to tell me that there's 720 possible orderings that we could put six video games on a shelf. Now to do that on our calculators, let's look at our TI-30 here. Get my TI 30 out and trying to get this to focus a bit better, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll come over here and there's my TI 30. So I type in six. Let me see if I can get this with minimal. So I hit the number six, and so we should see six on the display. Six. And then I go to the probability key, PRB. And it gives me some options up here, NPR, NCR, and the factorial. So I'm going to go over to the factorial, enter, and now I see 6 factorial as an option. And I hit enter, and I get 720 as my answer. Alright, the similar thing happens with the TI-84. TI-84 I'm going to hit 6, and then I'm going to hit the math key, which is underneath the alpha key, math, and it's going to show me a screen with math, num, complex, prob, and frac. I want to scroll over to prob, and then come down to number 4, which has the factorial key, and I have 6 factorial. And I hit enter, it gives me 720. And so this is how we find these solutions when we're looking for the combination where we can have every possible order.